Hello! In this video, we'll be going over how to apply for the National Science Foundation's Linguistics Doctoral Dissertation Research Improvement Grant, or LingDDRI. The first thing you'll want to do is find a good topic. You can start looking at topics in a few ways. The first is to read previous grant abstracts, such as those found on the National Science Foundation website. Another way is to do a literature review. A great resource for this is LLBA, which you can access through the library at this link. When you're looking for a topic, you should consider two questions. The first, how will it, how will it advance current linguistic understanding? You want to find a topic that it fits within existing frameworks, but should also push the boundaries a little bit. Reviewers are inherently conservative with their choices, so they won't choose anything outlandish. The second is why you are the best person to lead this research. This can come in different ways, but generally it comes down to life experience or experience in different fields. Um, for example, if you're doing compu computational linguistics research, it helps if you have a programming background. Um, if you're doing field linguistics, it helps to already know a bit of the language or be from the general area where is it spoken. Once you have founded your topic for your project, find appropriate grant opportunities. Organizations have different priorities with how they allocate funds. The National Science Foundation in particular focuses on basic research, so it will not fund applied research. There are also specific opportunities for women, racial ethnic minorities, and immigrants. Focusing on the Link DDRI grant in particular, it is for doctoral candidates studying linguistics and an institute of higher education. It's only for basic research, as with all NSF grants. There is a $12,000 maximum limit, and there is a one-year funding period. The project proposal for the Link DDRI grant includes a 15-page project description. Your project description should address any questions that you seek to answer in your project and any hypotheses that you seek to test. It should provide a brief overview of relevant literature. It should not turn into a meta-analysis. You should try to connect it to why your research is important and how it fills in the gaps inside the theoretical frameworks that you are trying to test. It should also address the methodology of your research, and it should also address the two merit criteria um, mandated by the NSF, which are intellectual merit, and broader impacts. When you're writing your methodology, you should seek to be specific and be concrete. Show what you're going to do and make it actionable. You should also be confident. Assert that you are going to accomplish your task. Um, say will instead of should. In order to accomplish these three goals, you should also provide a timeline. This will show the reviewers that you are organized and that you have a plan and it will show them what to expect on each step. In the project proposal, you should address the two merit criteria laid out by the NSF. The first is intellectual merit, or how will your research improve understanding of, of the field that you are working in. This will generally be answered by the questions and hypotheses you lay out. Um, and it will also be shown in the framework that you are trying to test. The second part is broader impact, or how does this benefit society as a whole? Now, it's pretty hard to answer this generally for basic research, but the reviewers understand this, so it can be something as vague as improving collaboration between two different institutions or providing outreach to a disadvantaged community. As part of your proposal, you also should include a two-page data management plan. This is separate to your main project description. It should address what data is created, for example, recordings, corpuses, software, who manages data, that might be yourself, another investigator, or a third party, how others can access the data, such as participants and the general public or other academics, and how the data is secured and archived. For example, you don't want sensitive information from participants getting leaked out. Um, generally, a library or a museum will be able to help you do all of these. 
aspects. One thing you should think about in your proposal is the ethics. Often in linguistics we work with human subjects and there are a few things that you should consider. One thing is getting consent, ideally written consent for, from your participants. You should also consider how you compensate your consultants, be that monetarily or with some gifts or maybe they're just volunteers. You should also consider how they can access your research and how they can benefit from your research. Because research is not a one-way street, they should also be benefiting from it in some way, be it language revitalization or a service that you provide through the research in respect of the experience that they are providing you. As part of your project proposal, you should also be writing a budget. This budget includes travel and lodging for field research or for conferences, food for yourself, compensation for consultants, and equipment such as recording equipment, software, computers, etc. You should provide a brief line item justification for each item that you list. This gives the reviewers confidence that you're using the grant money in the best way possible. Your proposal will include a project summary that comes before the project description. It will be one page long, provide a brief overview of the project, and explicitly address the intellectual merit and broader impact statements. You can often lift this directly from your broader project proposal. NSF grant proposals should follow the PAPPG and Grants.gov application guides in their formatting. So that is it for this review of the Applying to the Ling DDRI grant. I hope you enjoyed it.